the New England Patriots made a bunch of signings in the second wave of free agency. Among them was Mike Pennell. The former New York Jets nose tackle was signed to a deal to help replenish some of the depth the team lost on the interior defensive line following Malcolm Brown's deal with the New Orleans Saints. Pennell is excited about the opportunity to join the Patriots, and he opened up about the chance in an interview with Patriots.com. Having the opportunity here is the most exciting thing that could happen to me right now. So, I'm just ready to get to work. Pennell also went on to praise the Patriots' culture and cited that as one of the reasons he came to the team. It's a winning culture. They do things a certain way and they get results and, you know, I want to fall into that culture and be an asset to that culture. The winning culture is something that draws a lot of players to New England, and with good reason. After all, the Patriots have won six Super Bowls since 2001 and they have appeared in three straight as well. They haven't missed the playoffs since 2008, the last year they failed to win the AFC East. Pennell will have a chance to win a starting job at defensive tackle with the Patriots. Last season, he played in 16 games for the Jets with 7 starts and totaled 27 tackles, functioning mainly as a strong run defender. Pennell's path to a big role in the team's defense will be made easier if Danny Shelton doesn't return. Shelton, a rotational run defender last year, recently met with the Bengals in free agency. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The New England Patriots are losing Ladrian Waddle, but they'll still see him twice this season. The free agent defensive tackle has signed a one-year contract with the Buffalo Bills, the team announced Saturday. We've signed T. Ladrian Waddle to a one-year deal. He did make three starts in 2018 when starting right tackle Marcus Cannon missed time due to injury. Waddle joins Trent Brown as the second offensive lineman to leave New England in free agency, as the Patriots could use some tackle depth behind Cannon and second-year Isaiah Wynn. After Waddle's signing, the Patriots have six free agents who are on the 2018 squad and remain unsigned, running back Jeremy Hill, wide receiver Chris Hogan, defensive tackle Danny Shelton, linebacker Albert McClellan, kicker Stephen Gostkowski and punter Ryan Allen. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Apparently 40 is the new 20 for NFL quarterbacks. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady, already the NFL's oldest active signal caller at 41 years old, has said many times he wants to play until he's 45, which would make him the oldest QB in NFL history outside George Blanda, 48. Russell Wilson has similar aspirations, it seems. The Seattle Seahawks quarterback, who will turn 31 in November and become a free agent after the 2019 season, went on NBC's The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon on Friday night and insisted he wants to play at least into his 40s. Being a kid, an African-American kid, 5'11", came from Richmond, Virginia, went to a private school, people said I wouldn't make it in Division 1A, going to NC State, going to Wisconsin, Wilson told Fallon. Quote dot dot dot. Getting to where I am now, just finishing year 7 going into year 8, I believe I have 10 to 15 years left, related, why are Patriots okay with being the oldest kid on the block? Another decade in the NFL would put Wilson at 41 when he retires, but 15 more years would mean he plays until age 46, past Brady's stated goal. Wilson has yet to miss a game in seven NFL seasons, so his timeline isn't totally far-fetched, although he has absorbed more punishment than QBs like Brady thanks to his 645 career rushing attempts. Perhaps Wilson will reach out to Brady in his relatively advanced age and get on that TB12 method. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.